This video is going to demonstrate interoperability between new WPF applications and old WinForm controls. Let's go ahead and create a new WPF application. We'll use Visual Basic for this demonstration. There we go. And the designer is going to show us our new application here. And we'll drag and drop a Windows Forms host control onto our new application, like so. There we go. As soon as it redraws, we'll make sure we size the new control we added to the entire application space. There we go. Now, since we're going to be working with WinForms, we're going to need to add the reference to systems.windows.forms assembly. So go to the References page in the Project Properties dialog, click the Add button, and page down until we find system.windows.forms. There it is, and add that. Then we can save our settings and exit that property page. Now, let's go ahead and edit the code for our application. And we need a new constructor for the class Window 1. There we go. And in the constructor, we're going to set the Windows Forms Hosts child property to a new instance of a system.windows.forms property grid. That's a standard WinForms control, which is not normally available in WPF, but with this interoperability, we can see that it is. Let's press F5. There we go. Our application comes up. It's got the WinForms property grid hosted in it. It sizes itself just the way any control in WPF would and if we'd place things in it you'd see that it works properly and that's all there is to it